Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Folks, and welcome to Alien Addicts. We have Osvaldo Franco in the house. It's always a pleasure, Oz. How are you on this fine, luxurious evening? Great, brother. Great. How are you, man? It's probably morning where you are. Is yeah, it... yeah. It's uh, around eight in the eight fifty in the morning. Ah, right man, that's, that, that's that's very early. Very early <laughs> to do it. Do an interview. So, what have we got tonight? I'll say tonight because it's kind of. I'm, it's always evening where I am. <laughs> well, um, we're going to talk about this new deal that To The Stars Academy has with the Army and some of the details about it and some uh, interesting facts that you might not have heard yet regarding that. Um, it's very interesting details. And then uh, we're going to segue into probably what's going to be one of the biggest controversies in ufology by, uh, for 2020. Um, and it's going to be a, uh, it's, it's deep and it's going to be, uh, it's quite an issue. It's, it's, uh, like, like the players involved in this are enormous and it's, uh, it's, it's all very odd. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Uh, I, well, I, you did give me a little bit of a sneak peek, but, um, we'll start with TTSA because everybody's been asking me when we are going to do an an interview and talk about TTSA and the army and your thoughts now i'm really interested to because i know you've you've always supported TTSA you, you know you've done the 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 uh the instagram posts and what have you and uh, i will leave your link to instagram below so guys make sure you follow Osvaldo Franco on instagram um but yeah what are your thoughts about it Oz? well um I feel vindicated a bit. Uh, I think that this is uh, this this is just wonderful that this is going on. Uh, Tom DeLong uh, is a man of his word. He said from the very beginning that they had strategic partnerships with certain peoples, and it looks like that's exactly what's going on. And um, the, he came through again. And it, and not only that, like TTSA now has access to the military's laboratories. This is phenomenal. This is like exactly what we we needed and uh, what people wanted, and um, this is the, like this is just fantastic. This is um, this is the beginnings of I believe major changes for everybody in this field in the world. So, do you think that's why we've not seen much of this Adam project because they've been told to keep this on the hush because they've been working with the military? I don't know if they've been told to. I think that's just like just being only a technology company. It's just good measure not to, you know, spill everything until you actually have everything done. You know, um, they, like I, I, you know, uh, it, like it, it's no different than owning a video game company in that respect or something. You know, you, you don't release everything until like you know it's been completed. Um, you know, and. Uh, that's the thing. I like. Like, I don't. I don't know. If there's any deliberate deception in regards to this, uh, and but uh, in in a sense of like a nefarious sense, I think this is more just you know them covering their asses. Okay, I mean, I, I have to say, I mean, you know, um, I think I've been a fan for TTSA for quite a long time now, um, but there is a part of me that kind of does question this and thinks, you know, is there some sort of big agenda behind this? You know, it. A lot of people were saying oh, it's it's all a bunch of crap before the people the naysayers that was that was say, the saying all this stuff. But now you can't say that because with this military venture, it, there's definitely oh. something there. But what, what I'm saying, do you ever think or well, hang about? It's you know top of the triangle work. Well, this is the thing. There there are people that are talking <laughs> are still insisting. That this is like you know a scam and uh, and insisting that this is just like you know business as usual and it and it, and it really isn't. Um, I, I I think basically uh, like the same the problem with TTSA's detractors is increasingly you know like uh, uh, their criticisms keep falling by the wayside. You know they keep uh, uh, saying well, well they they didn't do this they didn't do that and then it gets done and then they're still upset. And then they come up with these other reasons 
and it it it, it, it all it, and it, it's even gotten to the point where now repeatedly a lot of these guys are like basically saying well we're so much better than ttsa when like they're not you don't have famous scientists working with you you don't have even your own research laboratories let alone you know the u.s military's very own uh scientific facilities uh, and know-how uh it's it, it it reeks of sour grapes okay you know it, it reeks of uh their criticisms increasingly are just people that you know if things were business as usual their positions in ufology would be solidified or or they would you know uh progress even higher in the field but then to the stars academy comes out of nowhere with you know evidence with videotapes with um uh, uh, materials, you know, and, you know, uh, a scientist, everything to boot. Uh, and they don't have any of those things. There's, there's, there's no, like they would have aged into the, the way that things go traditionally in ufology, but now, uh, it's a new game, you know, and those people like don't know what they're going to do. They've basically become obsolete. So you've got absolute 100% trust in this company to say that there's nothing going on there's nothing going on government wise that is oh no big... that, listen I'm certain that you know they, they, they even say so themselves that there's, there's some things they can discuss some things they can't discuss uh, you know uh, you know th that is tied to that and uh, that's to be expected but even within that like you know it, it's about as fair as we're gonna get you know yeah. and honestly it, it's not surprising uh, you know, a lot of the detractors are like, oh, well, uh, you know, it's not real disclosure because it didn't happen the way we've determined that it would happen. And it's like, well, maybe somebody has a different plan than you that you're not privy to. So who do you think approach to first? Well, the, the rumor is that uh, Tom DeLong was invited to a barbecue at a defense contractor. And uh, basically, that's how this whole began. This whole thing like, started. Um, you know, it might have been kind of mutual. Like uh, Tom did approach these guys, and then they started talking. But Tom also says that the T to the Stars Academy was their idea. Well, it was the military's idea. Yes. That he did. The, that he started this. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I, I know um, he met that general that he won't speak his name that said they had yeah, uh, an entity. No, it's a life form. Uh, Neil McClaslin is his name. It was leaked through WikiLeaks. Right. Okay. He was uh, the guy who basically ran uh, Watertown or Area Fifty One. Because he told Tom DeLon that they found a life form. Yeah. When? That's the guy. Do you know that? Uh, I'd say around maybe 2014, 2015, in and around, and then that's. Uh, well, that's when they told later. Tom, or that's when they found the life form more or less you know uh, uh, in the timeline and then uh, to the well, Stars Academy was formed in 2015 so they told Top the Long in 2014 yeah in and around yeah like do, while we're getting him into uh, like uh, before they I, I guess before they offered this opportunity in full so they so what's the general's name again uh, Neil McClaslin so did Neil tell Tom, when they found the life form? Uh, there's the Cold War. Yes, yes, that That's, rings a bell now, yeah. So, like, like, anywhere between 1945 and 1989. Okay. But I'm leaning more towards closer to 45. So, you, so there's been an agenda all, all along. This is what you're saying now. And this is yeah. form TTSA. Yeah, uh, but I, I don't really have a, a I don't have a real problem with it because it seems like this is a legitimate effort to like get these things out. You know, they're they're also accepting like shareholders and things like that. These these things, this would make this endlessly more complicated. You know, and uh, when they there, then there have been UFO scams. In fact, we will discuss one later. Um, that's current apparently, um, but. Uh, yeah, it's 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 like uh, 
like we'll, we'll discuss that later. It, 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 there's 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 a lot of differences between these so, like organizations, but yeah. So what would you say to um, these conspiracy um, theorists that say this is all part of a false flag alien invasion? I don't think it's that dramatic. I, I, I really don't. Um, will there be spin on it? Yeah, there's already spin. Um, you know, Tom DeLonge says that they're a threat. And in the military sense, yes, they are. You know, they, they come in and out of our airspace with impunity. They don't ask for permission to do stuff. You know, they, they pretty much do what they want as they do, as they want to. Um, they go in and out of our facilities, our military facilities, to, to do things, you know. Um, and I've done this for decades, if not for generations. Um, in, uh, in a military sense, that is a, a danger. At the same time, though, it's not the same thing as they're, uh, you know, attacking you know, people, or, or at least to our knowledge, though there are some stories that indicate that uh, that is indeed the case, and you know, in, in, in a limited uh, uh, amount, like these weird cases, like in Brazil back in the uh, '70s and so on. But uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. If I, I think if our if we were going to be invaded, we would have been overrun. I, I don't see the, the the point of you know waiting till we develop technologies like we are. You know, and then attacking us afterwards. It's a pretty bad strategy. Yeah, you'd have to be a pretty um, shit chess Confident player. Confident in your ability or an idiot, yeah. Unless they're just holding back. Um, but I, I do find this, I find this extremely interesting. And the main bit that sticks out for me is their interest means that they have something. There must be... Yes. That they have something that has piqued that military interest. Oh yeah, if you if you it's not even just that the military has released statements from scientists that work in, in in these laboratories, and they're talking about how excited they are to work on these materials and about all of these uh, uh, things that are going to be coming out of it. And, and the thing is, uh, they, they literally say in the pa documentation of this that uh, it's all the same stuff. It's uh, uh, it's space time metric engineering. Uh, it's beam propulsion. You know, um, and it's odd because uh, those two things don't necessarily have immediate uh, implications for ground vehicles, and that's the other thing. This is this is for development for technologies and ground vehicles. And um, you know, I, I like honestly, once you have space time uh, a metric engineering, you know, it, basically you have starships. So I'm not sure what like you know tanks or jeeps are going to do with that technology, but they're you know. They're developing it nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, I, when people hear military in there, they automatically think weapons. That's what they are. People just of kind course. of they yeah. think weapons. That's, that, that's going to go into weaponry as well. But, but like, listen, if we can throw it at somebody and make them die, we'll do it. Yeah, but the, my, so my argument here, you know, if there's these little green men up there or whatever, and they they have the technology to come to a planet. They're not going to come for war, but yet TTSA is, a, well, I mean, Tom DeLong's come out and said that we are not a UFO research company, but at the same time, it's, it's been what it's about from the beginning. For me, it, it has very much been a, a, re, a UFO research company. Well, no, that, that's amongst other they, things. They, they, now they do a lot of others like that. Well, they want to do a lot of other stuff. There's also like psi uh, ex uh, experimentation and things like that that they want to do um, and might be doing. Uh, like I, you know, like maybe they're not. Like, I, I guess they're not solely a, a, a UFO yeah. investigation organization, but they do investigate UFOs very much so. But, but you know what I'm saying about you know the the ETs or whatever. If if they're coming here, I don't think they're coming for war. So, but yet the military, uh, they're not going to be in it for, for, in my opinion, I don't think they're in it for, for, for peace, you know, no, the, well, they, they have to, they want to get the, the upper hand. They, they, they have to defend us from threats, both real and hypothetical, you know, so they, uh, like they, they, they have to do this. That's part of the military mindset. Now, uh, is it necessary? Perhaps not. Hopefully not. 
you know, uh, last thing we need is to have problems with somebody that's, you know, a lot more advanced than we are. Um, well, my my yeah. worry with, with with this, and if it is, if it's all legit, and you know, there there is that knit, that little finger that just says, "Hang about, something's going on here. Uh, it's not quite right." But again, I have a lot of trust in the company, and I've I, I have been watching everything they've done. Not as much as you, Oz. I don't think anybody else has, though. Um, but there's, there's, that, there's that bit. The, the worry for me is if the technology is there, the military get the hands on it, that we start using that technology on ourselves, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, listen, you have to understand that, like, all right, like, uh, but, uh, like, the, but yeah, this is going to get, like, used as weaponry and stuff like that. I, I mean... Uh, like, like, I mean, just for like, you know, like the fact that we even ha- would have this technology would be a deterrent from yeah. like people trying to do anything against the United States. Uh, I mean, like right now we're about to develop, we ha- basically have prototypes for like Iron Man armor, and now we're going to be able to add anti-gravity to that. So basically our guys are going to be able to like literally fly, you know, in, in like, you know, suits of uh, like, you know, enhanced armor. And like, do you realize what that's going to do to some guy with a Kalashnikov? Yeah, well, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a trench. Well, not. And to... when you know, regular U.S. personnel can literally fly and like shoot, like you know, all manner of like sophisticated weapons at you. And I mean, like beyond, you know, uh, 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 like convention. Well, I think when we get there, when it's not going to be a human being. In, in there, you know, oh, that, yeah, you, it, you've, it, it, you've seen Boston uh, Dynamics, uh, haven't you? The company Boston Dynamics. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. That, yeah. That's, a, that's a, but yeah, basically that's the long and the short. It's going to be uh, um, Iron Man and Visions, mm. you know, or maybe uh, Iron Man in, in charge of a, 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 a unit of Visions. There's not that little bit of you that just says, hang about, something's going on here. Oh no! Something is definitely going on, but I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm. I, I don't. I don't. Like. I think it's. Listen. Whatever's going to happen is inevitable. Um. I don't think we get much of a say in it. Uh. This is just going to happen. This is where the technology is leading us to, and we're. We go where the technology goes. You know. I. I we've never not taken an option. We've never not taken an, other than nuclear annihilation. We've not ever. Think of it. Is there any technology we haven't done to death? No, you're right. You're right. And that's not. And that's. We're going to see that. And that's. That's the trend. It's always been the trend. That will always be the trend. Um, you know. Uh, like I, 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 I'm comfortable with that. I, I, I have trust that we're not going to wipe ourselves out. So what do we know so far with the military venture with TTSA? What. What do you know so far, the information that you know that somebody else may not know? All right. Well, uh, there was a Vice article uh, about a week ago, and in it uh, was discussed a deal that To The Stars Academy has with a, uh, another company, uh, which is called uh, True Clear Global, and they're a manufacturer of uh, screens. Uh, I'm not certain why uh, TTSA has this. Uh, alliance with this company, but um, they do. Well, like a yeah, a smartphone. Yeah, like, like yeah, like like smartphones, like uh, uh, televisions. You know, larger scale uh, uh, screens as well. Um, so th- there's something going on. They're working on something with them. Uh, what I'm not certain. It could be a part of the educational aspects of things, but I don't know why you'd have to. You know, have your own specific screen company to do that. Um, they're probably developing some new type of technology, I would imagine. Even that, they're developing the controls for the cockpit of that uh, craft that they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, man. It, 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 yes, exactly, man. It could be a bunch. I hope it is. I hope it's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Star Trek style. Yeah, man. No, no joysticks. No control pad. Just. Uh, 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 a digital display you have to do uh, math equations on. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, 
this company, how much of that is do you know as fact? Oh, it's a fact. It's it, that there is there is a deal with uh, to the Stars Academy and uh, uh, pardon me, True Clear Global. So uh, they haven't said anything about it yet. Um, you know, and this came about. Uh, maybe a few days after uh, the announcement from the military. Because that can't be cheap, developing customized screens for something, if that's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, if that, yeah exactly. If that's what the, like, who knows what, what, uh, what's going on. So it's, but, like, you know, but remember, we're in the Ocean Forest. Uh, they have interactive touch screens. So are yeah. we are we talking government money, US, US military money? Are we talking TTSA money? What? How they how are they paying for it? I'm not certain. That I don't know, but I do know that they have this deal. Like I, I don't know, a joint venture or whatever. I, I we'll get the details. We'll find out more. But uh, right now, uh, the deal that right now I can tell you, True Clear Global has something going on with TTSA. It does have a website? Everybody should go. Check it out. TTSA Mobile. Mo- or mobile. Perhaps. Maybe <laughs> this has something to do with the vault. I don't even trust a TTSA Mobile. <laughs> you know, especially if it's with the US um, military involved in oh, it. Except that's all cell phones. Yes. <laughs> Honestly. At least in America. The other day, I can't even remember what I was talking about. I was talking about, I, it was, it, no, it was Lego for my little boy. I was talking about Lego, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden I start getting all these Lego adverts. I was just, I was just yeah. talking about Lego. Maybe I yeah. put, I may have researched Lego once in the in the phone actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, my phone predicts a lot of shit that I don't know. What, like, how did you know that I was going to be looking into that? Because because I didn't put it in my phone, or or, or I just had it in my head. Well, so, know, so, the, so the predictive software works really really well, or we're being it's like. Like tapped or both, which is probably what the case is. Yeah. We'll find out in ten years. Ten? It'd be less than that. Ten or twenty? Oh well, it depends. Maybe we get a, a fortunate leak. Ah, uh, phones at some point they'll be reading your mind. They are. They kind of do already, you know. Uh, but we'll see. Like honestly, this is a uh, uh, that technology is just going to get better with like things like lace and stuff like that. We're we're uh, we're quickly going to be heading to like you know people getting brain chips. And stuff with Wi-Fi enabling. So, do you think in the next this year, probably not, but next year, do you think we're going to see an actual video on the TTSA site? T- you know, talking about this uh, military venture. I would imagine they're going to, like, I yeah, I, I I mean, they're already like, if you look at their Instagram. Uh, TTSA has been trying to blow it, uh, uh, you know, talking about uh, this quite a bit. So I wouldn't be shocked if eventually we, we get like you know more uh, of a discussion from somebody or a, or a formalized you know like a video or something or, t- or Delong says something about it you know more directly to the public. Um, I know his sister uh, uh, threw something up on Instagram not that long ago, Who's basically the lo- uh, the crying about the pardon. The long sister. Yes. Right. Um, I sent that to you also. You have that. Yes. Yes. So, so and, uh, mm-hmm. no, 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 Karen. Yeah. So this is this is definitely a thing that uh, to the start. This is a feather in their cap, even though people are trying to pretend that it's not. Um, it, it, this is a, a very big deal, and uh, well, they should, you know, uh, be putting that out there. You know, lead with your best foot forward. Yeah. I don't know. Some recently, it. I'm not going to say it's not it's not sat well with me, but I'm I've kind of like I'm. I think we all wanted that bit of footage that we thought we was going to get, that bit of extra footage. But kind David Fravor kind of made it very clear in the Joe Rogan interview that there is no more footage. Well, there's no more footage of uh, footage of his sighting. Yeah, but, but he doesn't know what other people might have got. But the the the, um, the gimbal footage that cuts off. Yeah, there's more of that footage. Yeah, well, there's there are people that also say that yeah, but that's not ever going to be released ever. 
at the same time, uh, we were never supposed to know who Luis Elizondo was. You know, uh, so uh, things can change. My argument with this, though, is, and this is the bit, this is the bit that re- really sticks in my side. The more and more I look at this footage, the more I I say there is more to this footage. Why? Do we not get all of it? But we, they will give us the main bit. What's the difference between well, showing us that and showing the thing flying off? Well, no, because they're, they, there's like, all right. One of the things that they're saying is going on, right? You know those uh, those uh, spheres with the, the cubes in them? Yep. One of the stories is that the Tic Tacs drop the spheres from the cubes. In that footage? Yeah. That's one of the, like, you know, there's, oh, well, there's a fleet of them. That's what he means. Do you think we're, yeah. ever gonna, we're ever going to see this? I'm pretty sure we will. I, I, I mean, they mentioned it to us. Um, and there's some weird video footage that does appear to look like that's out now, but isn't from uh, uh, To The Stars Academy or the U.S. military. Have you sent uh, me that? That seems to depict like some very odd uh, spheres with something in it. Have you sent me that? Yeah, actually, it was. It's from England. Uh, there was a um, there was a police a helicopter that uh, basically they had a bunch of uh, that equipment for like anti drugs type operations. Yeah. And um, basically, while they were doing that, they caught this weird ball with something in it, and it's pulsating. What they caught and, it? Yeah. Well, they caught you know, they, they're on video. <laughs> okay. You know, and, and yeah. it's uh, it's also thermal resonant. It's there, like it's a it's a physical thing that's there, but uh, what it is, we don't know. And, and this is kind of like the same sort of stuff that that craft released. It's similar, and similar enough that it could be the same thing. I, I can't say a hundred percent, but uh, it's very interesting, uh, nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, like I mean, like so. Think about it. If if let's say they did release that footage, like all of it. Let's say the Tic Tacs are dropping the spheres with the cubes in them. Uh, that would be much more dramatic. You know, that would be a lo- like you know that like I I think they're very gingerly trying to say like oh well there's a UFO there they are you know and and leave it at that for now. They mentioned that these things, like you know, like travel in groups, and some of the, like smaller UFOs come out of the bigger UFOs. Um, that is probably something they're going to lead more into. You know, they're they're giving it in uh, little doses, little baby steps for regular folks. You know, so that they don't freak out. You know, this is done very, very carefully. Um, even DeLong says that every word that they say is basically you know, uh, run through like organizations and, and people, you know, to get their approval. Every, like every public statement they make is very carefully thought out at, at many levels and they got to get clearance for everything. So, uh, you know, they, uh, uh, they're definitely, uh, you know, the, this is a process, you know, and they're very, they're, they're, they're gingerly doing this. They're dying their eyes are crossing their T's. Uh, you know, but eventually this gets done. You see, that's the frustration for me, is if they are drip... I, I don't think they are drip-feeding, is it? Because we can't handle it. There's another reason why we're being drip-fed. Well, I think they don't want to... Um, what can't we handle? The apple cart too fast, you know? And then there's also, like... There might, like, even belongs as there's some revelations that are going to be, you know... You know, a thing for some people. What's the hold back? Is it religion? Do, do they? It could do... be. It could very well be. Uh, that could be a, like well, and that's the thing. There's the story is is that, um, and it's more than a story. That there, uh, as Alizano has confirmed this, and we've spoken about it before about groups like the Collins Elite, these very very powerful conservative Christians in like military and in intelligence agencies. Uh, that uh, basically were um, there, there's been a really weird delicate dance there's been like um, you know military projects like uh, say Project Stargate the uh, US military's remote viewing project 
um, that was making some pretty interesting progress. And then um, there was an election, and um, uh, basically there was a conservative Christian that was put in charge of the oversight committee. And when he found out what these guys were doing, he shut it down because uh, he like, those things can't exist, and they were demonic in nature if they did. So uh, they shut down uh, that project. This and there's rumors of that, you know, happening on and off for decades. Uh, but um, one of the stories is that something happened, and uh, those guys with that position were overruled. And now, you know, we're starting to see these technologies. You know, like demons don't need spaceships. Yeah, I hear this all the time, um, and I hear this from a lot of. Uh... I don't know if the subscribers are just guys that come over to the channel, but I do have a lot of people commenting that are religious and they keep saying the word, they are demons. Yeah, well, no, this is the thing. Are they demons? They could be, they could also be angels because that's what we used to call these things when we didn't have a scientific vernacular. You know, where where, where, where are angels from? The heavens. You know, where are demons from? The nether world? You mean another world? You know, it, it's, it's, it's all the same vernacular. You know, uh, why is it a demon? Because it, it was scary? You know, it didn't look like a person? So it freaked you out? And you had a negative reaction, so it was bad. Even if it wasn't really harming you and it was just doing going about its business. And you just happened to be there. You know? Um, you know, beings of light sound a lot like angels. Yeah. You know, and if, and if you and if you delve into demonology or into uh, the study of angels, like, you know, they have uh, a, they have governments, they have different levels, there's different worlds that they come from, you know, um, as above, so below, as they used to say. Um, it's like, it, it, it looks like, basically, you know, uh, uh, it's just like a UFO sighting. People had different reactions to it. You know, yeah. some people fell in love with it and there were angels. Some people thought it was the most scary and horrible thing ever. It had to be evil, and those were the demons. You know, it's 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 it, and, and and now that we know more as a species, uh, uh, it's a bit it's a lot more complicated. Are you an atheist? Yes, operationally, yes. But I, I will say I'm an atheist that knows psychic abilities exist. I'm an atheist that knows ghosts exist, and I'm an atheist that knows extraterrestrials exist and are here. Um, that being said, I have no, I don't like religions. Um, I don't like spirituality, which I see as watered down religion. Um, I don't think these are useful tools for us anymore. Uh, I think we need to develop, um, more, uh, uh, how can I say like cognizant ideas, uh, and, and, uh, about these things and how to deal with them. You know, I, I, I see them as very advanced people. Yeah. You know, I don't, you know, like, I don't see them as gods or demons, even though they have the abilities of gods, or what we would be the equivalent of gods to us, the same way that, you know, uh, if we traveled to ancient Rome, you and I would be gods, you know, with our cell phones and penicillin and so on. This is true. I mean, at some point, though, I mean, let's face it, human beings, we're, we're all trying to be God. Yeah, no, absolutely. I do I'll you want to give me a spaceship and superpowers? I'll take it. Absolutely. Me first. You know, and I'm not the only one. You'd be right next to me, you know? Uh, I'll join it, you, it's yeah. Like, you know, why not? You know? <laughs> I haven't met a technology I didn't like. So they're aliens. They're not demons. That's what we're saying. Yeah, they're, and, and the thing is, aliens also... Uh, the term aliens are people like, well, what if they're from other dimensions? It's like, no, you don't understand. Alien is means you are alien. So, like, if you're a time traveler, you're an alien. Yep. You're not from this dimension. You're from some other temporal space. Uh, if you're from another dimension, you're an alien. You're from New and York, from are another, you? Yes. And, I, and, and, and if I come to England, I would be an alien. And if I came to New York, I'd be an Englishman in New York, an alien, an illegal alien. Yes. Bit of police yeah, for, uh, not illegal, but but still, like yeah, like they, if you had an issue, they might take you to the uh, Department of Alien Affairs, but it'd be very pedestrian. It wouldn't be, but wouldn't be as exciting. I don't think I'd leave. Yeah. I, I I would I would I'd just bunk in your house. 
Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll stash you. You're, it'll I'll, be like I'll, I'll Skype my wife and kids every now and again. <laughs> and, I'll let you and, out on Halloween so no one can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so the other big news that you've ju- I've just fe- got, like found out now from you prior to this yeah. conversation, um, well, prior to you seeing the UFO out the window as well, which was quite... There's another thing, yeah, that, like... I gotta L- get live. Like, I got to get a camera. Uh, I got. But yeah, so um, there's a new, uh, well, it's not new. This has been going on in an undercurrent for like about a year. And it looked like the case was resolved. Oh, so I need uh, you fact, to break this down because there'll be a lot of people out there that will not okay. have a clue. Me being one All of right. them. There's going to be, in February of 2020, it's going to start. There is a major, major legal uh, trial, like a trial that's going to, uh, about fraud that is going to involve ufology in a huge way and uh, the CIA and members of Congress. And um, they're going to be put under oath. And this is a long story. Now, uh, I guess I should start from the beginning. Back in the 90s, in the early 90s, there was a guy, and um, uh, uh, pardon me, Joe Firmage. Now, his name is Joe Firmage, and Joe Firmage is a genius. Uh, he basically, he made a lot of money uh, in software and in the internet in the very, very early, early days of the internet. And um, he was like one of these guys, like uh, these young, like uh, uh, really successful guys that everybody was looking towards to being this like, big guy, in the f- even bigger in the future. And uh, what happened was, is that uh, according to Joe Firmage, he had an experience where he met an extraterrestrial. And uh, he had spoken with the extraterrestrial and it gave him information on how to uh, basically control gravity. And he went public. He told people about this. Like he did television interviews saying that he was basically going to spend his life and his fortune trying to develop this technology. And then uh, Joe Firmage just basically went underground. And uh, you would hear rumors about him, you know, from time to time. And um, basically, uh, they, they would go and they'd get uh, funding from people. Um, he worked with the military. And um, basically, there's nothing for it. Basically, there's a lot of people that are upset right now and have worked for this company uh, it's called InterNASA. Uh, in, into uh, NASA. InterNASA, yeah. NASA is in... Like international and NASA, like, smashed together. InterNASA. Okay, and this is Joe Furbage Company. Yes. And basically, they're working on gyroscopic anti-gravity basically there's weird properties of gyroscopes people know this uh and um like like gyroscopes do some very odd things that they're not supposed to be able to do but they do and joe has basically said that that was the key and um he teamed up with people like uh ron pendolfi who like that is a name that some of you that are really scholars into ufology might uh recognize because Ron Pendolfi was deputy uh, director of the CIA. But in addition to that, he was also uh, the guy with the weird desk for the CIA. And um, basically, according to rumor, he's the guy that, like, uh, when you get elected president, uh, they arrange a meeting, and he's the one that uh, drops, like, what's going on with extraterrestrials on you. Okay. And, like, basically, they said that he's been handling that since Reagan. So he's allegedly he's briefed every president from Reagan to Trump. So Trump regards to this. Yes, um, that's the story. Now this is the thing. Uh, they are very well connected. Uh, they have a lot of like of very very powerful friends um, that have helped them to uh, gather investors and things to put into this technology. Um, you know, and it's it's not even just like like they're like they have major people. Uh, they have uh, including uh, Dan Marriott, who is a United States congressman. But not only that, like uh, 
Dan Marriott is the heir of the Marriott hotel fortune. Okay. So this guy, this guy has huge amounts of money. These, like you know, uh, uh, people that like. We've got those we hotels. Had, know, hotel chain, man. Yeah, yeah, they, we, like, we we've got those. Trump, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Marriott, uh, 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 a lot of these guys, especially in UFOs, they're all like, uh, uh, like you know, hotel heirs, which is odd. Trump's got hotels as well. Yes, exactly. Trump does. Uh, Everybody. Uh, I've, I've stayed in a, Bigelow, in a Marriott dude, hotel Bigelow before. Is all, Bigelow took his hotel money and built spaceships. Or, or rather, Habs. You know? like It's a very odd thing. But uh, it's, it's, you know... Maybe the hiding things in some pardon? of the... Maybe some of the rooms in the hotel will never be... Um, you know... You'll never, you'll never be able to get that room. Especially not rooms. Oh, yeah. Especially, oh, no, no, no. There's like... There's... You'd be surprised. There's skiffs everywhere. I've heard this stuff in room 237. Yes. <laughs> no one ever goes in there. <laughs> but, uh, uh, or they go in and they never come out. Uh, but no, they, uh, I'm glad you got uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, like, it's like, I, I don't know. There's a lot of rich guys uh, that are funding this type of research on the low. Uh, uh, more than just Rob Bigelow, and um, more and more of them are starting to like you know come up to the woodwork, like you know, and, and are, are getting exposed because uh, they're not paying people. This is the thing. They're, they they basically have employed a lot of people over the years, and no one has gotten paid. Which not, is odd. not a dime. They, they, pardon? Not a dime. Not a dime. Yeah, and. Um, in addition to that, uh, and that's what the, the crux of the case is about, uh, they decided that uh, well, there's a guy named Robert Caviat, and he's a UFO film producer. Like he's done a lot of the major like '90s UFO documentaries and stuff. That's him. And um, like, and uh, basically, they 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 asked him to come along to to handle the media aspects of, of like you know developing this technology and getting it out. And um, he basically spent uh, several years working for them, and they didn't pay him. And uh, he for seven years, uh, several years, several years. So several years. I mean, he must have already had a bit of money <laughs> for the not to yeah, pay. No, he. I, I, he I, I don't think he's. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think he's hurt for cash like that. Like I mean, I don't. Yeah, I like a contractor. Several, yeah, I couldn't work for several uh, several years without getting paid. But uh, apparently he did. And, I have on uh, YouTube. Pardon? I said I have on YouTube. Yeah, but I, that's I, different. It's that's... three years. <laughs> but yeah, he, he apparently they didn't pay him. Uh, he didn't take that. He didn't like that. Uh, he tried to sue him. Uh, they uh, said they were going to pay him. Uh, and that, at that point, like this is back in maybe uh, January or February. It looked like everything was resolved, and now no, they didn't. Like they, they still haven't paid him, um, and, and the whole situation was looking a bit wonky. Uh, Furman started releasing, uh, uh, he released a video of this alleged anti gravity device that he's uh, developed. The problem is that the video looks really wonky. You can't. It, it raises off the ground. Do you think I can put that up without without getting a, a strike? I don't know. I really don't. I would really <laughs> like people to like maybe stills. Like you know, yeah, I might have to put a link. See, I'll put a link. The ground and then it, and it floats up, but you can't see the top of it. So you don't know if somebody's holding it with their hand or if it's like a, you know a string or, or, or a chain or, or you know something. It's like like honestly, like I, I you know I have a physics background. If I had an anti gravity device, I'm getting the whole thing on camera. Like you know uh, you know all you have to do is zoom back. And and, and 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 show off this amazing thing you did. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Right. you? You know, if you're gonna, and that's that's my point with the, with the UFO videos. You know, if you're gonna show us something, show us the whole thing. Don't just show us a, a little tidbit. But yeah, I totally agree. If you're going to show us some technology, you need to back it up by showing us. You know, especially something like that. I want everybody to know I did this. Yeah, you know, I would want everyone to know. Uh, uh, and it, and it's, I did this. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That looks more like an anti gravity device than what Joe Furman's video looks like, Mate, in my opinion. It is. I mean, look, it's you know, and I can see the whole thing. If I, you know, if I put look at that, yeah, amazing magnets, wonderful things. They That's are. it's quite heavy. That though, that is one. It's a heavy piece of Lego, and that magnet yeah. is just. Poof, you know, amazing. Yeah, that's a that's a strong magnet. Yes. But like, but that's the thing. It, it's just it's it's like I don't know. It's, it's very very everything about the Fermat situation is very very odd, and the fact that it involves these these people of like like I mean like Ron Pendolfi dude that's huge, you know Dan Marriott like that's old money, you know lots and lots of old money, and for them to be involved in a scam concerning UFOs is, is odd. It's just, all of this is just really, really strange. Uh, but, but is, is, is the exactly scam right. involving UFOs or is the scam involving the Well, it's tech- involving anti-gravity technology that is allegedly from uh, information given by an alien. And there's other stories too. They, 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 they've circulated a bunch of, well, it has been circulated rather that uh, they they use this device as some type of wormhole actuator that they can actually go to places like Skinwalker Ranch and open up, you know, uh, utilize the natural space time, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, anomalies there and like use them to go places, uh, amongst other things. And uh, there were stories that uh, they opened up wormholes and beings would come out of them, like similar to Skinwalker Ranch type stuff, but you know, in you but but in uh, uh, um, uh, in a laboratory setting. Um, so, but, mm-hmm. so the main case is is down to him not paying his workers. Yeah, and it's it's it, it, again, it's very odd. Like I, I don't know why. That, like that's a like a, a real amateur mistake. If that's a mistake, and I and I can't like to me that like I'm sorry, man. Like it it, it, it it's you know it's got webbed feet. And, and it's quacking. So, you know, it sure seems like it's a duck. Yeah. So, uh, um, like, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't look... Like, if you see what's going on with TTSA and you see what they've done, the TTSA looks like a lot more of a professional outfit. So you don't think this is ever going to happen to TTSA and someone's going to try and sue them? Oh, uh, there's probably... All sorts of things are probably going to happen. Um, I don't think, though, that... like I don't know. There's some... This the, the this whole furnish thing is very very odd, you know. And I, I've spoken to people that have spoken to him, um, you know, recently. And uh, there were stories about uh, you know uh, that they were they were good to go. They were about to start you know being able to demonstrate this thing and uh, make a, a mass producible version of it. But uh, this again, this is all very very odd, and. Uh, what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing doesn't fill me with confidence. Yeah. You know, in this at all. Like, it, it looks like, it looks really wonky and, uh, you know, uh, it would be, it's going to be very, very interesting because this, this reeks of, you know, Richard Doty. This reeks okay. of, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, what they did to Paul Benowitz uh, years ago. And uh, for those of you who may not know, uh, Richard Doty is the most hated man in ufology. And the reason why he got that designation uh, is because of uh, he got in uh, he got into a situation. He was a mil- Richard Doty was a military officer, and what happened was is that there was a uh, um, a uh, gentleman that had come uh, um, who had uh, thought that he was getting signals from extraterrestrials, right? And the thing is, he had lived uh, next to a U.S. military facility, and he was recording uh, uh, videos of uh, what looked like UFOs taking off and landing in this U.S. military facility. And what happened was, is uh, Richard Doty ended up like basically befriending this man, gaining his confidence uh, under orders. And basically, they, uh, they gaslit him. And uh, they would play games with this guy and mislead him. And uh, he lost his business. He was very successful. He lost his business. Um, he ended up going to a mental hospital. 
um, and uh, never really recovered from uh, the damages done to him. Uh, anyway, so what happened was is his family ended up suing the military, and they actually ended up having to admit that they were pulling this uh, disinformation scam on this man. And they actually, the military actually paid his family off. Like they signed, like you know, they they could prove I'm that sure they had a significant lot damage to their father. And um, this all happened. Um, people don't talk about it enough. This is one of these really, really important cases uh, where, like, the military got caught. And this was years ago. Okay. This was like back in the '90s. They got caught, and then, like, you know, pulling this, and then one has to ask the question: Why would you perpetrate a fraud like this against a U.S. citizen? You know, so, and 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 for nothing if nothing was going on. So the military, the, pardon. So the military got caught red-handed. They did. Yeah. So this is not the first time that something like this has occurred. Okay. Just, I, I mean, I'm not going to go off course to what you're talking about, but just just quickly on that one. Do you remember what I was asking you before about is your trust fully in TTSA and the U.S. Oh, Army? Yeah. The, this TTSA. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. It, this TTSA it, it, to me doesn't feel the same. It doesn't like TTSA seems to be a so much you, more. So you, with you, it's more faith. You have a you have a faith in it. Well, it's it's not even. It's something about it seems to be right. And and I mean honestly, if uh, if, if like they could have done the same thing or similar things uh, with Internasa, but they haven't. But also, TTSA is actually rather public, and it has like he, as opposed to recruiting millionaires in secret to, to give huge amounts of money. They have a lot more people, like, you know, they have regular citizens. They, they, uh, they're a lot more public. Yeah. But you must, you theory. must under, you must have an understanding of what I'm saying there. When you've just told me now that what the, that the military did to this man. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But that, that was then. Then i like, that, like, that was back in, like, what, 1990, 1991. Uh, a lot has changed. Um, also, the fact that the military is, like, now, like, you know, avidly, you know, advocating for TTSA and assisting publicly, you know. Yeah, that's, don't, I mean, that's don't the, get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know, I'm not um, giving it all that. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, hmm. just saying. No, man, it's, 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 we don't know anything, man. We, like, uh, we're all taking shots. It's fine. Um, you know, I just, I don't know. I, 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 TTSA is not the same thing as Internasa, I don't think. Um, I think that, uh, I think TTSA is our best shot. It, it already has, TTSA has already produced remarkable results. I mean, we've heard about gun camera footage of UFOs for generations. No one ever thought we'd actually get it. Now we got three examples of. It. Well, yeah, it all started with the Foo Fighters. Pardon? It all started with the Foo Fighters. Yeah, exactly. Great you band know, as we, well. Uh, and and but, you know, other than a few still images of those, you know, from the, the Second World War, you know, we have no video footage of those either, even though allegedly they got quite a bit of it. Um, but we do have stuff from uh, 2005. Well, they thought it was German. Yeah, and the Germans thought it was us, and it was neither. Um, you know, uh, well, maybe sometimes it was the Germans, like depending on uh, well, some of those stories about what, uh, like the honey boo. Well, there other. is a there is a rumor that what crashed in Area Fifty One was German. Yeah, well, yeah, well, no, 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 no. It was uh, the the story was that it was German, but um, uh, it was captured by Stalin. And then Stalin put the teenage mutant ninja communists into uh, the ship to fool us into alien. You know, it, 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 so that that's kind of ridiculous sounding to me. Yeah. Um, you know, then the, the fact is that, like, and honestly, like, if if and like the meta materials uh, are some of them, the ones that uh, the arch parts ones are supposedly from the Roswell crash. There's no way the Nazis. Have meta materials. Meta materials like that, unless they got it from time travelers or aliens. There was, um, I was going to say, yeah, the, the example there though that, that does make me think is all of a sudden 
because they the actual military did turn around and say that they had a flying saucer and maybe when they realized it was a german guy inside a a craft they soon turned around and said nope we don't have voice of weather balloon <laughs> you know the nazis have not made it over here well no and it's also like all right so stalin had that well, why didn't he like arm him with a nuke yeah you know why didn't he take us down like i mean like he was being nice like, like, like he decided he had enough power and he didn't want more um that that doesn't sound like joe stalin to me um it, it, it bends credulity. Uh, it, it seems like, like honestly, it seems like one of these weird explanations that they would give people so that they could try to deflect the fact that it's a UFO. You know, so you, so like, you know, that way you can go back to church. Like, don't worry. I don't have to lose sleep over this. It's just a communist plot. Do you, know, by the Nazis. do you know what I love about interviewing you, Oz, is we always go off track. It's great. But it's just, <laughs> it's just natural. We just go off track. We just... Well, there's so much to say. There is. We'll we'll be talking about one thing, and then all of a sudden we're talking about Area 51. It's um, it's delicious. Um, so you so you definitely think that there is it, it's not sitting well with it's, this is not sitting well with you. This that's going to happen next year. This case. Yeah, uh, February. Um, yeah, like this is going to be very interesting, though. Like there's like they're going to be under oath. Um, and there's like a lot more people involved in it than just that. Like, uh, and the thing is like when there are cases like this, weird stuff comes out. Weird thing, like, you know, like, like where we go off on a tangent. So yep. sometimes evidence goes off on a tangent and you start like, well, what, what is this? And you know, you find threads to other stuff. People so, panic, I'm, people speak up, people say things that they can't take back. Yeah, exactly. You know, when uh, a lot of the problems with trials like this is that you, uh, when it involves a classified program, is that it usually involves other classified programs. And sometimes the, the existence of those comes out because of these things, or at least we hear rumors of them, or you might hear, you know, uh, uh, the name of, of a program. And, you know, and it might not make sense for years until you find out, you know, uh, what that, that program was or is or how it related to, you know, the initial thing that they were discussing. I'm looking forward to this. And oh, I'll... yeah, this is going to be a big thing. We're going to have to cover this because it's going to, uh, this is one of the ways that some of the juicier secrets comes out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I think this, this, this could spiral off totally yes. different stories. Yeah, this is going to be a big thing. No one's talking about this just yet. But everyone, I think, is going to, barring that they don't shut this down, somehow uh you know legally or pay people off or, or what have you um yeah this this uh, this, uh, this has to be of a great importance and interest to the ufo community if there is something of great importance and interest it will get shut down maybe it, but the thing is it, sometimes it gets halfway shut down or or things get shut down after like something leaks so we still might get something good you know out of this or know more than we would have known before. Yeah, I would. I mean, going back, going back to TTSA, I was having a conversation this morning uh, with Rich Giordano from Goof on Radio, and yeah. uh, we were talking about Bob Lazar, mm -hmm. and I said I was telling him about um, the fact that uh, DeLong's doing his book. So th they're all in kind of the same circle. Uh, is Corbell, Lazar, uh, DeLong, TTSA, all oh, of it. Oh, yes. No, no. Uh, Hal Putoff and uh, Kip Green both had relationships with the people that uh, 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 were running Internasa as right. well. This has also come out. Yeah, everybody knows everybody else. It's all connected. Yeah, but it, it's, it, you know, like, I mean, like, how many people are openly doing UFO research or things like that? So, like... You know, you know, everybody knows everybody, like I know you, you know. Yeah. So what I was going to say, um, and I think I've asked you this question before when it's just been just me and you. Um, do you think Bob Lazar will ever be a team member of TTSA? Cause that well, would... they published his book. Yeah. I, I, know, you know, I know this. Uh, that, 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 so he's there. 
um, they know how to get in touch with him. They, they, uh, you know, they, they, um, he told them a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm assuming more that's even in the than even in the book. Um, because it, if now I know there's a lot of people there's a lot of people out there that don't trust Bob Lazar. There's a lot of people out there that don't trust TTSA. The, but the two together now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's either a perfect storm. <laughs> now I'm not saying I don't trust Bob Lazar. I think the guy is absolutely fascinating. Oh, no. and yeah, they, I, I, I'm I. I lean towards believing Bob Lazar very much so. I, I'm, I'm like I'm certain he saw something but if and he, was involved in some interesting stuff. If he, everything indicates that. If he does have that element 115, mm-hmm. you know, he's Tom DeLong um, has has done his book. Is he pub- he's published his book, hasn't he? Yeah, it's out. Yeah. Have you got the book? Uh, uh, no. Are you going but to get I, it? I, I, Oh yeah, like uh, as soon as I can. I, I have perused the book though. You'll have to read I, it to me because I'm dyslexic. Pardon? You'll have to read it to me. I've told you I can't read a book. I will. I will. I'm recording for you. No, we'll do. We will do a live session. We'll go live. Oh, yeah, there we we'll, go. we'll yeah, do a live we'll reading. Uh, Oz reads um, Bob's book. That'll be awesome. Um, uh, can he copyright strike us from that? <laughs> Is he t- we can do it as a dramatization. We'll be it doing him a favor. Good. He can have the have an, a free audio book done by Osvaldo Franco, reading That's Bob's right. book. Um, free of charge. Just the, don't sue us. The question that that I that I have is, with the uh, the company that's doing the screens for mm. TTSA's uh, cockpit. Probably, maybe, yeah. Um, if Bob Lazar has that bit of element one fifteen, I'm sure Tom DeLong will have asked him the question. Bob, where's the element one fifteen, and can we have it? Mm, well, who knows? Who knows what's going on behind the scenes with this? Um, it's very exciting, um, very very interesting. But uh, there's there's a lot going on, man, and we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out a lot of stuff, man. We're gonna find out quite a, a few interesting things. Twenty twenty is gonna be a very interesting year for us, uh, perhaps even more interesting than two thousand nineteen uh, or two thousand seventeen, even for that matter. Um, you know, it, it's like this is this is gonna be very very interesting. I like you know look forward to the stuff that's going to be making its way to us soon yeah I mean I I um, if you remember I predicted that Joe Rogan would interview Bob Lazar yeah I also mentioned I don't know if I mentioned to you or Rich that he would interview Corbell with somebody else Mm. and I thought that that would be one of the flavour now I think I could be wrong here but I think Lou Elzando I always say his name wrong we'll go on Joe Rogan that would that, be interesting because yes. honestly dude like Joe Rogan Joe I, Rogan picked a really bad time to be kind of a dick <laughs> Kind of. like he, he was addicted to, to Tom DeLonge. Yeah, Tom did. And the next thing you know, like, this whole situation with Corbell and, and, and uh, um, Bob Lazar, and now he's back in the game, but, like... Hey, dude, listen, like, like, you can't blame Joe Rogan for being a dick when Tom DeLonge shows footage of a fake TR3B that's a blatant fake, you, you know? Yeah, I mean... But, but you, you have to understand, though, he, he had to have spoken to... Um, because Joe, Joe Rogan spent like some time with Bob Lazar. He spent some time with uh, uh, Jeremy Corbell. Um, he had to have said, like, you know, Tom DeLong is full of shit. He's batshit crazy. And then they must have told him, well, actually, no. Well, he you said know, that. that, that he, UFO... Yeah, he said that to another guest. I can't remember the guest. It yeah, wasn't. exactly. Then he doubled down on it, too. It's not just enough <laughs> that he, like, he was like that to Tom, but then behind his back, but in front of everyone <laughs> on the air. But it's like, yeah, he's batshit crazy. The other guy was like, yeah, totally. And they're both wrong. <laughs> like, he probably got... Like, honestly, 
he owes Tom DeLonge an apology. Especially if you're, dude, if you're into UFOs and all this stuff that Tom DeLonge has done for us, and you've been like against Tom DeLonge, I, the right thing to do is to apologize. You know, like, you know, especially, like, you know, like, honestly, dude, Tom DeLonge is MVP. Um, like, like, we, like, Tom DeLonge has gotten so much done in three years. It's, it's kind of strange, though, that since Tom went on that show, Lou's taken the reins, Tom stepped back, he doesn't really speak that much. I mean, I've seen him do the odd interview, but, you know, it would be, yeah, it the, would be the, nice. The Q &A with, uh, he just did that Q&A for the yeah. signing of, this, uh, of uh, Volume 2 of Gods. Yeah, you, I mean, Oz, you know me. I've I've been a ma I was a massive fan of Tom DeLonge back when he was in Blink One Eight Two, and I didn't really know much about UFOs back then. I kind of knew he was into it, and but the I kind of th I understand why Joe kind of went off on one with him and kind of thought the guy was crazy because. He, sh he, he Tom should never have shown you. You've said it yourself. He should never have shown that TR three B as yeah. as because he made it out as if this is this is this is them. This is the this is the technology. Mm -hmm. Now, if he'd have said in that video, this is a fake video, but this is exactly how it works, and I think that may have been what he was trying to say. But I think yeah. it, I think it came out wrong, and I think it probably came out wrong because before the interview, um, both Tom and uh, Joe may have smoked a massive bifter together. <laughs> that's true too. Yeah, no, that more likely than not, right? that's what happens. That's why you go to Joe Rogan show, have but, some drinks, smoke a blunt, talk about some oh, crazy I, shit. That would be the dream, Joe. If you're watching oh. this, I'll, I'll I'll you know I'll fly over. I'll, I'll, even, I'll even pay for my own ticket. Um, I I would love to see the, the Lou go on Joe Rogan though. Yeah, I, you know what? I think your predictions have been dead on, and that's a really good prediction. I mean, if he like, because dude, he's already in. He's hanging out with all the same people. Yeah. You know, Favor's right there with with TTSA. Um. Um. Uh, um What's his name? Uh, Corbell also is connected with TTSA. And they, they, you know, and the footage that was released. Uh, uh, Bob Lazar has a, uh, a book. His autobiography is published by TTSA. Uh, everything is TTSA related. So at some point, their paths are going to cross again. Especially when, like you know, bigger deal breakthroughs come out of TTSA. Like things that Joe Rogan's going to have to talk about because everybody's going to be talking about it. You know. I mean, I, I said before. I mean, the the unidentified. I I thought that that may have um, had some. Uh, Corbell may have had something to do with the direct uh, the directing of that. I don't think that's the case now. That was just me uh, clutching at straws. But I I do think that he's Corbell. He's definitely going to be doing some work with TTSA with some of their film stuff. I think that's going to happen because they are very much in that triangle together. Yeah, no, listen, everybody knows everybody else. This is, um, you know, uh, um, um, if, they're, if they're not more directly officially connected, you know, they, they, I think they will be. Um, you know, To the Stars Academy is looking to get into a lot of stuff, and I, I think they're going to be very successful in that. Um, like, and like, basically, like, dude, honestly, they, they are going to own this subject. They're gonna own this subject. Even DeLong says, like, like you know, you can own this subject with us by shares. Yes, yes. Uh, do you know? Do you uh, do you ever speak to any of the shareholders? Uh, do you know if any of them are unhappy? Or are they all kind of like happy with the way it's going? Um, not, I'm not not to go in anywhere personal well, near this, but the, I just I I well, this is the thing. What from from what I've like from conversations that I've had with people. And um, pro and con, and you can even see this in comment sections. Um, like people are like, like, oh, I bought some shares into the Stars Academy. Like, oh, get your money back, oh, oh, oh. And, and things like that. And other guys are like, you know, listen, like, um, maybe this will go nowhere, or maybe this is the investment opportunity of a lifetime. You know, I'll tell you in five years. Mm. 
Well, I hope it is for, for yeah, the so investors' sake. I really do. So, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I, I, it, it's very interesting the fact that everything is all interlinked. Yeah, it is. It it, 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 it's not a coincidence either. No, <laughs> at all. Like, this is, you know, I, I, I do think this is the disclosure show. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think that this is like, you know, um, this is the dance that we do when we talk about aliens for the first time publicly, for real. Speaking of disclosure show, um, was that, I mean, we've spoke about that guy before. What's his name? Um, I don't know his real name. I, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. UFO Jesus. What's his oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a massive... His name is Brian. Brian. Yeah. Brian. Life of Brian. UFO Jesus. You've seen the life of Brian, Monty Python. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Python. It's required viewing. Uh, UFO Jesus. Um which he's changed the name of his channel to something else now. Is it Disclosure Project or something no, like that? No, oh, like, well, uh, no his, his, his channel isn't UFO Jesus. It's Post Disclosure World. That's the one. That's the one. So he's very much... Mul- him, I think, though. He, he's, like, totally... Um, it's almost like he's been paid <laughs> to, um, you know, give all the, uh, the positivity of TTSA. I mean... Even as even as a TTSA fan, I look and I think it, it's very, very, very much like somebody's given him some money and said, "Just go with it." Either that, or he's just the biggest fanboy going. It could be both. I mean, I'm a big like TTSA. I no, sing yeah, the praises no, of TTSA for you, free. You like do, that, you, you know, that you do. But in our interviews, sorry to interrupt, but in our interviews before, you've been pissed off about stuff. And you've said it. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. You... No, 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 no. You don't listen. I, I, you go in with both eyes wide open. You know, your ears open too. Like you know, and you don't suspend criti- your critical faculties for anyone, ever. Like I said, I don't believe in religions. Uh, and 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 uh, being a fanboy can be a type of religion. Um, that having been said, though. Uh, um, Part of it is interesting. Part of this is just like looking at everything that's been going on and looking at the history of the subject from its beginnings in the 40, late 40s. Um, I'm thinking that this is legit. I'm thinking that this is necessary. I don't think that this. I mean, honestly, you realize in another 20 years it's going to be the uh, the uh, hundredth anniversary of the Roswell crash. Listen, if a hun- if an, in another 20 years. I'm not sat in a restaurant and there's an alien grey opposite me with his girlfriend having dinner. You know, there's something gone wrong. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm telling you, like, it's, uh, I think it's just time. They're, they run out of, like, reasons to, to hide it and, and they don't have time to, you know, to keep playing this game as they have. And this was, uh, and this was never supposed to be quiet forever. You know, they, 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 there was a, the idea was to keep this under wraps until they had a, a firm grasp and understanding and could control it to some measure, you know, what was going on or how things would go down. And uh, we've reached that point, it would seem. So they got to start, you know, uh, um, decoupling that. And, and in fact, the idea that they give shares and they made them available to the public um, also is very U.S., like military sort of way, like we're going to create, you know, uh, shareholders and, and, and businesses, you know, based on that. That's that's basically how we've done everything. The military develops a technology and then uh, it's spun off into these private corporations. Um, this TTSA is the same exact thing. Yeah. Do you... We've talked about this before when we've we we've said um, about the competition. Now it seems that definitely they are right at the top of their game at the moment. But you know, with the uh, the companies like um, what was the company we talked about on the last show? I've reached out to them as well. I've asked them for an interview. Um, the as ax, ax, axiom. Oh yes, Asian project. Yeah, they're. Um... 
they're going to be uh, pulling back a bit. Uh, we probably won't hear anything from them until at some point around 2020. Okay, so what, they, uh, what are they up to? Uh, stuff and things. <laughs> um, they have a piece, don't they? They, they, yes, they're working with metamaterial and analysis of metamaterial. This is uh, true. Uh, they got a shout out from none other than Hal Putoff, which is you know yeah. high praise. So they're doing something right. Um, they, like I said, I, I uh, spoke with uh, them before uh, recently uh, in the last couple of days, and uh, they're going to be pulling back a bit um, till like around 2020 when there is a development. Uh, we will be speaking about it and spreading that information um, as it is given to us and we're given permission to do so. I need to get them on in 2020. It could be wishful, yeah. wishful thinking, but yeah, it'd be interesting. Um, well, they had a, they they backed off because they um, they got a lot of uh, uh, attention from that, and I don't think they were quite ready for that. Yeah, if you're not they, ready, uh, you you know you if you haven't got the evidence there to back it up but you do think you've got something maybe you kind of spoke too soon i'm not i'm not saying that's the case but you know if they if they've pulled back then more respect to them for doing that um and uh, there the, there is other companies i i keep hearing all these like little companies that are trying to do what TTSA are doing um, yeah. but nobody seems to be doing it like TTSA. There'll be a lot of people that will argue with that and say that TTSA are doing absolutely naff all. <sighs> but when you've got, when when you've got a joint venture with the military, there must be something there. Either that, or it's definitely, you know, Project Blue Beam um, <laughs> in the making. Listen. Yeah, listen, I don't listen. If Project, like I said before, if Project Blue Beam exists, Project Blue Beam is this thing that Christians like to, to, to cling to. Um, I believe that if you know, because it's definitely not aliens, then. but uh, I, I believe that Project Blue Beam does exist. You know, it exists because UFOs do exist, it's not because they don't. You know, it, 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 it's a way of. of uh, controlling you know uh or, or, or making use of this for like gain of some sort i um you know and it's uh it's it, and it's, it wouldn't be like impossible you know or impo i mean we've had situations where people have lied about like you know things like you know in, in terms of military situations like we uh war of 1812 was based on a lie you know the gulf of tompkins was a lie you know um we uh, um, there's been quite a few times that we've like people have gained systems to get us in, into wars, uh, and, and this is just a matter of like history. This isn't even like conspiracy history. This is regular mainstream. You know, you can go to a high school and you know you can probably find a mention of it in a textbook. Um, uh, they used to call it yellow journalism uh, back in like the turn of the century, uh, at least in the states. Um, but uh, it, it, like they're gonna, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If they're gonna do it like that, and then, and, and, like honestly, and, and 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 even if they did try to spin up a war or gin up a, a, a fake conflict, at some point the reality that that was ginned up is going to be known. You know, at some point, like you know, people are gonna realize they got duped, and they're not gonna be too happy about it. Yeah, I can't see it being pulled off. Yeah, this is it's not a good plan. I can understand why they would have a contingency plan like that in case of some type of emergency, you know, or a situation develops. But um, I mean, they've done stuff like that before. Like they tried to, uh, they uh, the military tried to get uh, uh, the military had a plan in the '60s where they were going to have. Uh, Fake Cuban nationals do a series of of, uh, of violent terrorist acts uh, in different parts of the United States, and uh, so that they can go in and uh, use that as a reason to go in and invade Cuba. Uh, and um, 
and Kennedy signed off. As Kennedy said he didn't want anything to do with that. We weren't going to do it. And that's the only reason why it wasn't implemented. Like, we know this. We have the documentation of this. This isn't conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy fact uh, and historical fact. Um, you know, you can just do a Google search. You will find these things out um, from reputable sources. Uh, uh, no fringe required. Um, but, uh, no, I, I, like, I, I, it, it, it's something that I don't think would end well. Uh, it's maybe too much of a gamble. But then again, like that's my perspective with my limited knowledge of what's going on and what they're doing. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, before we um, we end this, because we've been going for about an hour now, um, if if you had any adv- advice or you wanted to say something to anybody that doesn't have faith, whether it be in TTSA, whether it being in what's going on in ufology at the moment, disclosure, any of that, what advice would you give them? What advice would I give them? Um, hmm. I would say, hmm, if they don't have faith in the TTSA. Um, in, in the I would whole say, thing, all of it. All oh, of yeah, it. Well, I would say, look at what's been accomplished since TTSA's formation and look at what was accomplished or rather the lack of accomplishment in all of the decades that we've been doing like people have been doing ufology since the late 40s uh, till 2015 2017 Um, to the Stars Academy is basically the only game in town like they and they're doing a fantastic job. I think they've they've come through and they they've not made promises that they kept didn't keep. They they've kept their word. I think that we owe them some currency for that in the sense that they you know they've not you know financial currency rather you know, uh, um, there we should take their word for like some the more they the more they they keep coming through, that we have to give them credit for that. You know, and not only that, the more they keep coming through, uh, um, and the the naysayers that keep trying to deny that, uh, insist that they're like off or they're not doing the right things, we also have to hold them responsible for that as well. You know, we have to take, you know, like if you're keep if you keep doing the right thing by us, we're going to have to give you more credit than the people that detract from you that don't do these things for us. If if you ever doubted it, would you would you say? Oh, yeah, no, if I found, listen, uh, um, I'm a ufologist, I'm in it for the truth. If I find out any type of shenanigans, I will turn on a dime. And, you know, if I can confirm this, I will be like, okay, guess what, I was wrong. Don't trust these guys, it's a bad scene, X, Y, and Z. You know, there's no, there's nothing wrong with being wrong, except when you don't acknowledge it. You know, and like, you know, and I'm not going to let, you know, other people like, you know, fall off the cliff like lemmings. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't know that about me and you, that we actually do speak outside of these interviews. And you actually don't have a lot of trust in many people in ufology. There's, no, <laughs> I don't. I've been around it too often and for too long. Uh, um, and most, like I said, 90% of the subject is garbage. Uh, the remaining 10%, 5% is weird stuff, but not what you think it is. And the other 5% is exactly what you think it is. I think I think our next video, I, I would like to speak about, well, you know what I want to talk about. I, I, oh, no, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Yet. Okay. Let's we'll save that one. Go. Again, we'll save that one. That's a, but that's a loaded thing. Don't worry. We'll, we, at some point, we will get to it. And in fact, like we could, like that's something we might have to work on. But I want to speak. Episode. Like, I, I, take I, some time to do it right. I, I think the next time we speak, we need to we need to start speaking about the actual technology that we that what that we have. I, I want to speak about that. Mm. We'll do a bit of research. Right. And we'll we'll. Uh, because I'm really interested to of of what you saw out of that window. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, one last thing. I had a theory. Uh, I just wanted to put it out there. Uh, just examining the Tic Tac case. Um, you know those L-shaped nacelles? Them L-shaped? The nacelles that come out the bottom of the, uh, of the Tic Tacs. Yeah. I had an idea. I'm wondering if uh, those are gravity amplifiers. You know, like the the gravity amplifiers in the sports model that Bob Lazar talks about. Okay. And I'm wondering if, like, they were bent L-shaped because, like, the gravity amplifiers in the sports model bend to, you know, to do certain things gravitationally. Like for the maneuver. Yeah, so I'm wondering if those L-shaped protrusions, like, you know, if they, you know, if they move around, are they adjustable? I know what you mean. They look like kind of like um, little hooks on the bottom of the. Yeah, exactly. So I'm wondering, because like uh, this, uh, like in the sports model, like if you go into what Bob Lazar. But that's only in the images that we've seen. You know, the actual is not no, in the foot. No, you don't see that in the footage. There, there is there is allegedly a, a very high resolution image of uh, the L shaped per, uh, protrusion. Well, well, I need that. So, yeah, I, I'll try to find it for you. You've seen uh, it. I don't know if it. Uh huh. You've seen it. Yes, I've seen the photo. Yes. Where did you get it from? Oh, it's just one of these things that's circulating. Okay. No. Nope. I'll take a look. I'm pretty. Yeah, uh, I'll try to find it for you. But um, like some people were saying, oh, this could be like a sample gathering arms or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. No. I, I don't, you know. Who knows, man? Who well, knows? Yeah, not, yeah, not me. It's all, it's, all, it's all crazy, if you ask me. We're all crazy. Oh, of course. Um, yeah, no, I would like to talk about the um, the technology, do, do, an, do an actual interview about UFOs in general, just on the UFOs. Forget the all the players in ufology, just talk about the actual UFOs themselves. Oh, I, have, I have an idea of how to, I'll, I'll explain it, uh, we'll, we'll talk about this off camera. Yeah. But I have an idea of how to do like a, dem, like a, 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 a an explanation on how like these technologies work because I've been doing a deep dive for quite some time now about metamaterials and uh, gra uh, gravity and things like that. And there's a couple of things we might be able to make some reasonable assumptions about. Cool. You know, with good reason. Um, just in the last week, I, I, I hit upon something, but that that's for, uh, you know, that should actually fit in with this um, next episode that we're going to do. Yeah, that sounds absolutely fantastic, Oz. Absolutely fantastic. And it has been a pleasure tonight. So thank you again for joining us. Um, well, there you go. As always. And I will leave the link for Osvaldo Frank. What's it's Ozzy? What's, what's your Instagram, Oz? The real Ozzy uh, something, something, something. Some numbers. Yep, I'll uh, leave the link below, guys. Uh, Oz put some really good, interesting stuff on there. So if you could be kind enough to follow him on there, and you'll you'll you'll, you'll, you'll find out the information before me because I don't read a lot. Um, but yeah, also, if you could follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram if you want. I don't put a lot on there. Um, I do have a Patreon that I do put a lot of stuff on there, a lot of artwork. Um, there will be early edits of videos going on there so that if you want to support the channel, that's the way to support the channel. But the best way you can support this channel is by sharing these interviews out on social media, whether it be Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. That is the best yeah, way you can... Yeah, the doesn't like us. So, yes, you know, it doesn't. We gotta spread word. Word of mouth is the, the coin of the realm. Spread alien addict. Amen. Like a disease. <laughs> anyway, folks, good night. God bless. Thank you for joining us. Osvaldo Franco, it's been a treat. Always, man. Mind the bugs, don't bite. See you later, buddy. I made this.